Toby, I love Transformers Rise of the Beast. How does it feel to be part of Transformers now? It feels absolutely immaculate. This is the most abnormal thing that's ever <laughs> happened in my life. I'm not lying to you. Yeah, this is a pretty interesting life journey you're on. Come on, honey. My first ever acting role in the history of my life and it's uh, with Transformers Rise to the Beast. It's a pretty good start. Yeah. So I saw you uh, You went out to the premiere recently with your kids. Yes. And they got to see it in Atlanta. Yes. So which, what are they more impressed with? Yes. Are they more impressed with the music or is it being a part of Transformers? I'll be honest with you. They love the music and they don't fully grasp the concept that I am in a blockbuster film. They're more concerned about getting popcorn at the theater and cookies and candy. But uh, hopefully when they uh, get older, they'll be able to look back and see that I was able to be a part of my father's entire journey, the entire process of the film. Uh, and they'll uh, have a lot, uh, a lot more respect uh, for uh, how he was operating uh, then. Yeah, and this feels like just the start of another chapter too. I hope this is just the beginning of another one for you. Oh, definitely is. And so your music career is pretty far along though. Congratulations on that. I'd like to, you did a song for this movie. Come on. So I want, music is such an awesome artistic expression. Yes. How do you kind of lean into that and express yourself and make music when you know you have to find something that fits the tone of a Transformers movie? What, did you get direction on that? How did yeah. that go? I did actually from uh, Stephen Cable Jr. He came with the idea for the battle scene and what he was looking for. And I just sprinkled my creativity and brought what, what I, what authentically represented me and what I thought could bring the idea to life uh, on my soul is what was uh, created. He was like, yo, do you think I should show it to Nas? I said, definitely you should, don't be a dummy. Uh, and he showed it to, uh, he let Nas hear it and Nas uh, put his uh, greatness on it and it became a phenomenal piece of art. I was going to ask about the, the Nas connection. Yes. It's pretty cool to collaborate with Nas. I know Steven worked with Nas on a 2016 short film. Come on! So, I mean, how, what was it like to get that collaboration? And I was, I, it sounds like he was, in fact, the one who put, connected the dots there. He definitely was yeah. the one who connected the dots, and it was an immaculate thing to connect with Nas because he has zero ego and extremely talented. Top five, dead or alive, I truly believe that. And uh, he was just very humble and willing to do whatever it took to uh, make the song happen. And in this movie, as Rick, you bring some pretty good charisma and humor to the film. So bring, Thank bring you. a nice shot of life to it right when we need it. Uh, you. Can you give me an introduction for the people who haven't seen the movie yet? Yes. Can you give me from your perspective, you know him better than anybody else, who is Reek? Reek is a true friend who has a lot of love for his family and friends and uh, wants more than anything for them to be able to use their talents and skills uh, uh, to put them in the best position that uh, they can be in to provide for themselves. So he's a consummate opportunist trying to create opportunities for his loved ones. Have you started uh, hitting up Steven and being like, put me in the next one? Oh, no, 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 no. We, yeah, <laughs> there's no need for that. I, I feel like it's uh, it's, an, it's an innate thing. It's like, it's, a, it's already in his veins, in his blood, it's in his mind, it's in his heart, it's in his soul, it's in his every being. We're gonna go to the next one, yeah, yeah for I sure. It, so I love you, just, I love Transformers, I'm comicbook.com, I love geeking out and stuff like this. What kind of, what kind of geek media at all do you consume? Are you watching any, anything on TV, anything on streaming? What is, what kind of do you look forward to whether it's a movie release, a new TV show episode. Geek media, man. Let me see. What did I used to be into? I, I, man, I, I really used to be into uh, a little bit of anime for a short period of time. Okay, which yeah, ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dragon Ball Z, but nothing crazy. You know what okay. I'm saying? Nothing crazy. A little Krillin, a yeah. little Gohan, a little Goku, a little Vegeta, a little, you know what I'm saying? Yes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, stuff like that when I was in uh, high school. Then I got real serious in sports, and I uh, felt like I couldn't watch it as often. I am a, in, I'm an immaculate Early 90s, mid 2000s, wrestling, WWF though, like pre WWE, WWF. If I promise you, my this it's in my heart. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm a wrestler. I know I gotta go, but I would yeah, think about uh, you this good. the whole time. Um, most times I would say Ultimate Warrior, okay. but the most come on the best wrestler in the history of wrestling. The Rock. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna make sure you Yes, sir. Which yes, is sir. the reason why he's the, 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 the number one actor, right? He's the most entertaining person in life. Yeah, yeah. he Go. really, he's the, he, it was the absolute best.